night and I'm very tired I've had school but I got finally my package that is so super exciting I cannot actually express enough so I've got a nice big pair of scissors and a very very exciting package to unbox in front of you guys so my good friend here on YouTube Malika ordered off a website called Tan Beauty and if you're not like, familiar with it it sells makeup revolution freedom some sort of like hair color sort of brand that I've never heard of before. It also sells I Heart Makeup which is the sort of Too Faced dupe brand and I got a couple of bits from that range as well and I'm just really excited because I've wanted to order off this site for ages but I've never really known that much about it and then Malika ordered off it and she got some really nice stuff and the prices are unbelievable. So yeah I've got a really exciting package the scissors just fell nearly on the floor but yeah i cannot wait to get into this so let's just get on into it so obviously i'm going to keep it on this side because it's got my dress on but this is the invoice i don't tend to get invoices with a load of packages i don't know why but i just don't but i've got everything here i've got how many items did i get one two three four five six seven and the total cost is not on here that's odd but it costs all together, I believe, about £31 and I paid for next day delivery, which I will talk about in a minute because I had a right issue with it. It did not come next day, but yeah, look at all of that. It's really well bubble wrapped, so I cannot wait. Wait, hang on. Look at that. How on earth am I going to get into this? I'll give them this. They are amazingly packaged and I don't see any harm coming to this. Light. I've got like a whole massive roll of bubble wrap, but oh my goodness. This is so exciting. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Okay, right, I'm going to try and keep everything on my lap. Because otherwise it's all going to fall off. And I don't want it to fall onto the floor. So I've got seven things in front of me right now. And I'm very excited because to be honest, even though this wasn't that long ago, I've actually forgotten about some of the things that I got into. So, got into four even so let's just get into the I Heart makeup things first so the first two things here are the I Heart makeup lip lavers I got them the molten chocolate ones in death by chocolate and I Heart chocolate and they're scented with chocolate so that sort of shows you the massive dupe of Too Faced there they're melted liquid lipsticks and I don't know yeah liquid lipstick intense colour and I will try and include swatches but the packaging is quite nice. Um, I prefer this box because this box actually is sort of damaged. I don't know if you can see, but I'm not going to fuss too much. These retail for these ones cost three pounds. They have Christmas, Christmas, Christmas edition ones, um, and I don't know whether these are the Christmas edition ones, but I'm not too sure. But I'm very happy with these. I'm going to just crack open the box. Finally got through the box. It took me long enough, but this is really nice packaging. I really like this. This is the which one are you in? I'm not sure which one's this. This is I Heart Chocolate. And I'm not going to open it yet. Actually, yes, I am. I'll show you what it looks like. It's got the sort of sponge applicator like the Too Faced ones do. A, mm, sort of smell the chocolate, but nothing majorly. Because obviously I haven't tried it yet. But it says with vitamin E and scented with chocolate. So, yeah. That's what they look like. I'm assuming that's what all of them look like. But I will open the other one just to make sure. So actually, it took me ages to get through that one. I didn't actually end up going through the lid. I just opened it through the bottom. But this is, as you can see, a lot darker. And this is the one in Molten Chocolate. And I am so excited because I look so pretty. Okay, the strongest scent of chocolate is through the Molten Chocolate one. But... I'm so glad I finally picked these up because I've always wanted to and I've tried to order them off Superjug but Superjug just rejects um, my order so I'm so glad I've now got a website to get them and I'm definitely going to buy more. I will try and insert pictures of swatches somewhere around my head. <laughs> the I Heart Makeup Revolution product that I got is the Blushing Hearts Triple Bake Blusher in Peachy Pink Kisses and that's what it looks like. I cannot wait to open this because this is a dupe for the blushes by Too Faced not sure what they're called in all honesty so again that box was really hard to open but I really love the packaging I think it's really cute and then it's got the name on the back as well and is this going to open or is this sealed I will actually want to cry oh my holy god that is so pretty although it's not in properly there we go that 
that's what it looks like. I will once again try and insert swatch pictures. That is gorgeous. I wanted this for ages because I thought it would be quite a nice blush or a highlight as well. But that is so nice. And that is a dupe for the Too Faced blushes. And I am in love with that. And the packaging is just so sweet. And um, for Christmas gifts, this would be amazing. They have a variety of shades. They also have highlighters, which I want to try and pick up, and bronzers as well. So amazing, amazing, amazing. The thing I got from I Heart Makeup is the Chocolate Vice palette. And this looks like the ever so famous Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. This was $7.99. And oh my god look at that that is so nice it's just really nice sleek black packaging obviously with the chocolate bar and it's like melted the sweetheart blush as well sweetheart blush like the blush was far 4.99 4.99 oh my goodness they are beautiful and they've got like the name sheet which i never seem to keep for some bizarre reason but it's a good depiction although this color here hang on this colour here on the box looks a lot more white and actually in person it's a lot more yellow. You get the tacky applicator which no one needs um, really but they are the colours. I am in love. That one as I said not too keen on but oh my goodness for Christmas this is gorgeous and I'm going to be ordering another Christmas themed palette from Makeup Revolution which is actually the Makeup Revolution one but I'm definitely going to order more of these. The packaging is actually quite durable, but yeah, it's a really good dupe and I will try and insert swatches, but there will definitely be a first impression sort of makeup look with this. This was £7.99 compared to, I believe they were around like £40 for the real thing from Too Faced, so yeah, I'm very happy I picked this up finally. The last three things are from actually like Makeup Revolution and this is the Luxury Powder banana now i've wanted a banana powder for the longest time because i've seen so many beauty youtubers using it to set their under eye concealer and i've just wanted one the ben 9 is one of the most raved about and i wanted that but it's quite expensive and i just haven't found any other good banana powders if you've got any recommendations that are affordable please let me know in the comments um, but this is actually a lot smaller than i thought it were gonna were gonna be um and this is 42 grams but it's quite a like cute bottle and I cannot wait to try this once again I think I'm going to do a whole tan beauty first impressions video because it'll be the best way to try everything this is luxury powder banana and I'm so glad I finally picked one of these up because it's been long needed I'm not sure how much this was if I remember I'll put it somewhere on the screen if not it'll be in the description it was definitely under five pounds I think so yeah but I cannot wait to try this and long awaited once again second to last thing I got was a awesome metals foil finish um eyeshadow and I've seen so many people rave about foil eyeshadows from all sorts of brands and I just thought I'm gonna try it and this is in rose gold I believe I think so I think it's in rose gold and it contains a liquid eye primer as well and a mixing tray which I think is really really good considering it's from Makeup Revolution the packaging once again is a bit a bit bashed but you can't really expect much else to be honest this is like the mixing tray i think that's quite cool and it's got makeup revolution on then you get this oh my god that is tiny the awesome liquid eye primer jesus tiny or what and then the actual thing that you're paying four pounds for this is four pounds by the way um and it's really really pretty oh my god yeah it's in rose gold and it just looks like that it is really small um that's what it looks like and i can't wait to try it because as i said foil eyeshadows are all the rave at the moment once again the box is really really hard to open but i think the concept of this the fact that it comes with a mixing tray the tiniest like eye primer ever and a really pretty eyeshadow i think that's really good so yeah I paid £4 for that and I'm glad I'm going to hopefully finally join the bandwagon for foil eyeshadows. Once again, being in a tan beauty first impressions. Last thing was on offer and this is the Revolution The Dead or Alive 16 eyeshadow palette. There's 13 shimmers and 3 mattes. I'm quite a shimmery eye person anyway, as you may or may not know. So this was a definite purchase. It is quite different to me. I don't tend to wear these sort of shades. But this was on offer for £4, reduced from 6 as obviously Halloween it's over now okay this box was a lot easier to open it was six reduced to four and i was like yes please so it's just a standard packaging from makeup revolution for their palettes once again it comes with the sheet of names which i will never use but look at these names they're so cool afterlife depart exist destruct immortal haunt 
freak gone grave whale but how cool is that um once again check the applicator that i will never use but this is what the palette looks like sorry for the reflectiveness i'm not gonna lie this color i will just this blue color i will definitely not use i doubt i'll use this one because it's got like iridescent green shimmer but obviously it's a halloween palette so next year i will be able to do a halloween makeup look so obviously got this but i wanted to try it because they have their limited edition palette and the packaging on that i really like the box as well but they always have limited edition things and i never pick them up and i just thought you know what i'm on town beauty want to make a big enough order to get free uk delivery so yeah i picked this up and i am quite happy with it it isn't the best palette i've ever bought but as i said it's a limited edition palette and the box come on like seriously i'm one of those classic beauty youtubers that just love packaging <laughs> that came to under 32 pounds for seven items which i think is amazing so i will try and insert swatch pictures and also i will be doing a tan beauty first impression video because i think that would be quite useful um and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video that quick thing i wanted to mention about delivery i obviously like what's the word i qualified for free uk delivery obviously as it was over 30 pounds but then i thought you know what i'll pay 295 for next day delivery because i thought oh my god 295 for next day deliveries they use a courier service okay yeah i'll definitely go for that and they sent me an email because i ordered it last friday they sent me an email going oh yeah this is going to be dis but dispatched on the 7th of november no no 7th of november i'm thinking wait what because i ordered it on the friday so it could have been delivered on the saturday because obviously the next day wasn't a sunday and i'm thinking like what the hell like it says next day delivery so it should be next day delivery if you're with like a private courier service but that's the problem i had i emailed them they reviewed my email and it never replied so i'm not gonna lie the customer service was not fantastic however the products arrived in one piece bit battered packaging very hard boxes to open i've got a very sore thumb right now um but i'm very excited not gonna lie so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video see you soon bye